Hey, book lovers. My name is M, and I want to talk about books and cats. Hey, book lovers. Welcome to the madness. (laughs) Life has continued to be hectic and a bit overwhelming lately. And I'm going to be reframing a couple of things for the summer, basically just for my own sanity. (laughs) I'm going to be pausing my weekly writing challenge. I love the book. I love the series. And I do plan on coming back to it and finishing it and the third book as well. But honestly, I just need a break from writing. (laughs) It's kind of becoming a chore, and I'm also super discouraged right now. So I think a break would be good. (laughs) I have avoided querying agents for quite a while now. I did a lot of it when I first started, like, actively pursuing writing. And it is an incredibly disheartening experience. (laughs) Back then, I was in absolutely no place to actually handle that much rejection. But there also wasn't a lot of options because it was back when self-publishing wasn't really like a huge thing. Then I went the self-publishing route for quite a while, and it's somewhat satisfying. I haven't really sold a ton of books, but, you know, it feels good to put out my books. So now I have grown and matured, and I am capable of taking criticism. But it is still tough. And I don't think that I'm currently in the place to handle just day after day rejection. It's not actually that bad, but it feels that way. (laughs) I know that it's all extremely subjective and rejection is a major part of this whole process, but I just need to pause and breathe. Honestly, summers are for living and I need a break. (laughs) And summers are still for podcasting, of course. I am going to continue to cover books that I love and fun cat facts and stories. And I will be finishing up The Last Witch on Storytime with M. And then that will be paused until the fall when I will put out a new book that is a little more Halloween themed. My favorite. (laughs) I'm also going to be pivoting some of my focus to a new project this summer. It's actually another podcast which I will be talking about on here sometime in the very near future. I'm super excited to expand the podcast under Frap Media, and I don't know, in no time we'll have a network, I guess. (laughs) Anyway, considering how I am feeling about writing right now, this week's book seemed like a perfect fit. Today I want to talk about The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. So I may have titled this episode in need of a writer's retreat, but honestly, if it was one like the one in the book, I think I'd pass. (laughs) Maybe the original premise of what it was supposed to be, I might stick around for that, but even that, I don't don't know. (laughs) So let's get into the details. Our main character is named Alex, and she is not in the best place in life. A year before, she had a massive falling out with her best friend of eight years, and her friend just ditched her, left her, cut her off completely. Of course, there's more to that story, but that's kind of the general idea. So at the beginning of the book, Alex forces herself to go out to a book release party for her friend Ursula. She is super happy for her friend, of course, but she's also envious because Alex is also a writer, and she has had terrible writer's block for the past year. At the party, she runs into her ex-best friend, Ren, and all of their old friend group, all of whom ditched Alex and followed Ren when their friendship ended. It is horribly awkward, and Alex drinks too much and sleeps with a coworker, just adding to her list of bad decisions and regrets. Alex's boss is also hounding her. She's stuck at a crappy job that she hates, but she has no way of escaping. But when she calls her friend Ursula the next day to apologize for leaving the party early, Her luck finally changes. Alex's all-time favorite author, Raza Vallo, is holding an exclusive writing retreat for four talented female writers at her massive and supposedly haunted estate 
in northern New York. Alex, of course, applied for the retreat, but she was not one of the mysterious four that were chosen. However, Ursula's agent knows Raza's agent, and one of the girls dropped out of the retreat. Ursula sent in one of Alex's stories, and Raza loved it. Alex is going to the retreat. The one glitch in this surreal turn of events is that Ursula also sent in one of Ren's stories, and Raza also loved that and also accepted Ren. So now Alex is going to spend a month locked up with her ex-BFF, but she will also be writing with her hero. It's an opportunity that she just can't pass up, even with the awkwardness that could happen. Upon arriving, she meets Poppy at the train station, Poppy is a peppy, enthusiastic girl, and they finish the journey to the massive house together. This house is way out in the forest. It's far, far away from other people, almost completely cut off from the rest of the world. They don't even really have cell service. There's no Wi-Fi. And occasionally there can be snowstorms that will snow them into the house for a few days. The closest neighbors to the house is a convent, and that is like four or five miles away. So it's very, very cut off. And the house is also supposed to be haunted. It was rumored to be a place where a demon was channeled. And it's just an absolute perfect place for writing. When they get to the house, they meet Taylor and Kira. Ren shows up a little later, and things are immediately tense. They just get worse when Ren charms all the other girls, and Alex kind of finds herself in the role of fifth wheel. However, it's not all bad. Her idol likes her the best, but her positive attention further alienates Alex from the group. The retreat itself is wild. Raza demands that they reach a 3,000-word count every day, and it must be submitted by midnight every night. If they don't, they will be kicked out of the retreat. (laughs) They also have to read, discuss, and edit the other girls' books as well, not to mention have meals and cocktail hour, and one-on-one sessions with Raza. It's intense, and so is Raza. She enjoys pitting them against each other and delving deep into their darkest secrets. She believes that suffering creates the best writing, and she also believes that everyone only has one masterpiece inside them. Despite the intense workload and her strange games, she is also offering them a dream. One book will be chosen as the winner, And she will give the winner a publishing contract and an advance for a million dollars, which is just craziness. (laughs) The other girls will also be published and their books will be endorsed by Raza. So really, it's the chance of a lifetime for all of them. (laughs) As the games begin to grow more intense and the competition heats up, things begin to kind of take a turn. For most of them, anyway. Alex is channeling the tale of the woman who once lived in this house and supposedly called forth a demon, and things start to get a bit hazy. Alex is beginning to question what exactly stalks the halls of the house at night. And then things go badly, and it ramps up so quickly. There are some fabulous twists and turns in this book. I definitely enjoyed it, and I would recommend The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. So this week is a shorter episode. I'm going to jump straight into the quote of the week. And this week's quote is from Conan O'Brien, and it's just such an uplifting thought. There are few things more liberating in this life than having your worst fear realized. Your path at 22 will not necessarily be your path at 32 or 42. One's dream is constantly evolving, rising and falling, changing course. And that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening, book lovers. Check out the Patreon for a bunch of new content, including my newest collection of short stories, 3.33 a.m. It's only $3 a month, and it helps keep the podcast meowing. Ew. No. (laughs) No. You can also find all of my books, plays, and stories at frappmedia.com. And, of course, you can find all things Books and Cats at booksandcatspod.com. Thank you so much for listening, book lovers. This podcast makes me so happy. And I love being able to share it with all of you. If you love it, make sure you follow, like, share, do all the things, and hit all the buttons. Every little bit helps. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. (laughs) I hope you have a beautiful week. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, keep reading.
Refrap Media Production.